I just want to voice my personal opinion on something that I've observed in the industry. And again, it's my opinion and obviously I'm then open to everybody else's opinions. But being a shotgun club owner myself and being a vendor and being a sponsor at events for over 10 years, um, but mainly my experience as the owner of a club, when I put on a competition, I know that my machines need to be working properly. I need to have enough machines. The machines need to be working properly. I need to have some good management to oversee the event, the registration, the, the shooters. Obviously, then I also need shooters. But the targets need to be good, right? Because we all know that you can have just anybody set your targets that ne doesn't necessarily know what they're doing. But then you can have a whole nother caliber of targets being set by somebody who is nationally recognized, well-known, targets are favorite of many, and that brings your competition to a whole nother level, right? And so when I stop and think about it, and I think, what's really happening at a competition, a shotgun sport competition? It's the targets against the shooter. The shooter is trying their best, trying their darndest with everything they've got, all their fancy equipment, all their experience, all their instruction, all their practice, all their mental training. Like it's coming all to the table so that they can attempt to get a high score by breaking targets. The most targets, the better, right? So I think, so this is a game between the shooter and the target center. And it's an ongoing game that they actually really enjoy and sometimes it infuriates the shooter and they say those are the worst targets ever or those are the best targets ever or those are unfair targets, um, whatever. But it's, it's the shooter against the targets and the targets are set by the target center. Now, if I go into the golf world, I can tell you that whenever a golf course is set by a nationally recognized or world recognized name they, that name goes on that course That's bye -bye. that name goes on that course and it's part of the pull right like course designed by so and so their names on the course shotgun sport industry does put the name on the course but it's part of the marketing it's part of the the draw and um, I think I know, observing again over the last 10 plus years, that the, I think the target setters are not well, what, how do I say it? They are respected and they are adored and they are loved. And there's a, a lot of chatter with, between the shooter and the, the target setter. But I think the name going on the event and the respect of that target setter as the person that is drawn in, asked to come, paid to come, and an event that can afford it and that wants to have the best is going to pay for and bring in the best. And then what happens? You know, is that target setter um, then put out there so that people know that this is the target setter that is on this event that's bringing the draw just like the name that goes on the golf course and I'm not seeing that and I happen to personally know a target setter that's extremely humble and that wouldn't want that per se but at the same time as a shotgun club owner I know the appeal of people wanting to know who the target setters are putting the name on the event, and then making sure that that target setter is respected for what they're actually contributing to the event because they're the one that's making a break in that event as far as how it goes with all of those shooters. Now, I'm not downplaying the administration. I'm not downplaying the um, pe people that work on the machines, that fill the machines, that oversee the thing that um all of that because i'm an admin at my cop my club my competitions i get all that side of it 
I'm just saying I would love to see in this sport the name of the target setter being more announced and respected and put out there as a draw for the event. That's what I say.